guys? This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's a full moon in Gora on Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Welcome back, viewers. Last time, we finished up Air's Rock, and we got the reveal synergy for Sheba. I also did some level grinding off-screen since um, yesterday's episode, and I got myself some new shit. So, there you go. More importantly, um... Ah, uh, yeah, Sheba. More importantly, Sheba has high impact! Finally. Fuckingly. Yes, now, Impact can be used on all party members. She also learned Tornado as well. So, there you go. Alright, we're all set to go. If we recall, oh, yeah, this guy popped up here last time we were here. What? Outsiders here? Oh, shit. Out of here. Hey! Well, now we can actually catch him this time. But yeah, last time we were here, we couldn't do anything about the guy because, well, we didn't have Reveal. But now, with Reveal! We can now reveal hidden passages, just like in the first game. So, there you go. We spent... Air's Rock is literally in, like, an over-hour dungeon. I'm, I'm surprised we got through it in two episodes. Aroo! The hell? Uh, Aroo! Like my werewolf impression, viewers? Eh? Ah, ah, there's that werewolf from before. How's it going? Hey! Oh. Crap, I scared him off. Oh, well. He was right there! <laughs> Let's go after him, Mike. Uh, right, right. Kraden is awfully excited to be finding werewolves. I wonder why. Huh. Yeah, maybe it just... Maybe it just gets gets the old man excited. Maybe he doesn't have enough excitement in his life. I mean, I'm sure being kidnapped by Satoru as a minority was probably an, an invigorating experience, but probably not enough for the old man. He's a scholar, after all. Felix, wait. W what is it? Where, c where could that werewolf have gone? Good question. Do you think we lost him somewhere? Uh, Jay, you think? In this huge connection of tunnels? I, won I wonder. Let me count the ways. That would be a shame. Grrr. Uh oh. What was that? What do you think? It sounded like a wolf growling, didn't it? Huh? I don't see anything. My hearing is not so very good, but there was something. <laughs> How old are you? No, no. Perhaps we should search this area more thoroughly. There is no need. Huh? Look, he's using Synergy. Pretty much. He also has Reveal. Interesting. Grrr. Whoa, dude. Calm down. Fear not. This child is harmless. He does look kinda small. Grrr. Wow, Shiba, do you have to, you know, f screw over his pride? Like, really? He's a wolf after all. Tell me, who are you? How did you come to be here? I should like to ask you the same question. Huh? Could it be, do you outsiders possess the power to reveal the unseen? Yeah, we just acquired the true sight, if you know what I mean. Of course, I was certain that that you must. Guru? Yes, you are correct. They must have passed the challenge of Air's Rock. Uh, how come that kid doesn't talk like you? When we become werewolves, speaking the human tongue becomes more difficult. Huh? But you can- You must be someone special then. P special? Perhaps. Why don't you just call me Maha? Maha! Uh, no. Well, yeah, just Maha. So I assume you also can use Whirlwind. Yeah, we can. If you learned Reveal on Air's Rock, you must also know Whirlwind. Yeah, Sheba has it. It's because of Sheba we were even able to get through that shitty ass dungeon. That's right. That's. I think we can. I think we can tell Maha that we're adepts. Aru? What did he say? I don't understand. He wanted to know what an adept is. A question I would like answered as well. Adepts tap the power of elemental energies to generate forces like whirlwind. Elementals? You mean the four elements, the powers of earth, fire, water, and wind? Yep, that's correct. These elements together comprise everything in our world. Interesting. Very interesting. Aru, what did he say this time? He asked that there's no longer any need to hide from you. Why did he have to hide in here in the first place? 
I don't know, maybe because he just met you the first time? I don't know. Uh, uh, Aru, Aru. No doubt. <laughs> Most would find the sight of a werewolf rather unnerving. Yeah, you get bit by one, you turn into one too. That's how legend dictates. Fucking superstitions. You are sadly correct. Many consider ours an accursed race. But if you but if they found you in your werewolf form, once our people were burned at the stake as Oh damn. Like witches. They call this purification. Yeah, basically like the Salem witch trials. I know of it. Horrible. Uh, this little one won't get excited and try to bite me, will he? Yeah, kid, calm down. Settle down, boy. Down, boy. Down. Chow, return to your home. Aru? Don't worry, we can trust them. Go back home now. Aru? They're, they're ad that's not unlike us werewolves. They guard an ancient secret. You can trust them. They will not betray us to the world. Woof. <laughs> well, that's a fine way to say goodbye. Woof. Literally. It has grown quite late. Why don't you go and rest? Why don't you go to the inn and rest? But then, I would not leave this place. You weren't going home? When I learned reveal, I lost my human form. The wild is my home now. Wow. So, you learned reveal as a human, but because you learned it, you turned into a werewolf? That, how is that, how does that even work? So Master Maha, you always look like this? And the little one? The child changed because he looked directly at the full moon. Oh, so by tomorrow morning, he'll have returned to, to his human form again. Correct, now let us retire. Right, right. All right, let's get out of here. Felix and party stayed the night at the end. Folks didn't sleep much last night. You don't look like you got any rest either. <laughs> Master Maha told us all about you. Don't worry about the bill. It's on us. Wow, a free end. Thank you. Farewell, friends. No, thank you, kind sir. Maybe we should maybe we should stay and keep trying Air's Rock one more time. <laughs> Good luck with that, dude. Good luck. Those wolves were really noisy, nosy, or noisy last night. Yeah, they're nosy and they're noisy. Well, here we can find a hidden elixir. I forgot to get that earlier, cause you know, yeah. But yeah, all the people that were in those um um those robes before, yeah, yeah, they're they're human now. How's it going, kid? Hey, it's you guys. Thanks for last night. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. You probably don't recognize me in my human form. I was in the cave with Maha. I was that little werewolf. Oh, so you're the. Oh, okay, now it makes sense. I'm the reason you can stay in our village, and we don't have to wear any hoods. Wow, thanks, kid. Huh, what does he really say? Um, let's, let's mind read him. My dad told me I put the whole village at risk. He was really mad. He said this whole thing was just dumb luck, but why would luck be dumb? <laughs> oh, boy. Don't worry about it, kid. I won't, I won't reveal your, um, your, um, you know, your secrets. So, there you go. It seems everyone here in town is a werewolf. Go figure, right? Well, yeah, th yeah, that's basically the gist. But now, there is an item here that we couldn't get earlier outside the outside of the village, but I'll get that after we're done this little scene here with Maha. Ah, you came. How's it going? Good morning to you, Wolfman. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Would you mind telling us a little more about werewolves? You want to know the reason we possess the power to transform into beasts? Uh, well, uh, yes, I guess. <laughs> Do you find it strange that we can change our shapes? Well, uh, yes. But surely changing one's shape is not really all that unusual. What are you getting at? You're speaking in riddles. Think about the caterpillar for a moment. When the time is right, does it not transform into a beautiful butterfly? Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. Butterfree? Oh, oh god. Uh, butterfly? <laughs> well, yes, it's only natural. And the pill bug and hedgehog, do they not change their shapes to protect themselves? Have spiky backs to hurt, you know, fat-ass scientists? No, no. Not that hedgehog. 
I heard these creatures. I heard of these creatures, yes. And many amphibians possess the power to change color at will, c correct? Yeah. In light of all this, do you mean to tell me you find werewolves so abnormal? Well, to be honest, I hadn't thought about it that way. Perhaps you simply did not give it enough thought. Ha! <laughs> Excuse me! How insulting! I, sir, am a scientist! A scientist. Indeed, a scientist, eh? That is impressive. <laughs> oh, you better believe it. I spent a great deal of time thinking about werewolves. For a time, I even felt cursed to have been born a werewolf. Huh. But even after a more objective look at nature, I realized that weaker species have survived by evolving, by transforming. Don't you agree? Well, yeah, it, it happens like in Pokemon and Digimon and shit. Except in Digimon, at least with the Digidestin and stuff like that, they just go back to their base forms and shit when they're done. They're on their rookie forms and shit. You know what I mean. Other Digimon, like in the wild and shit, they eat each other to, to, to Digivolve. Digimon Adventure 2020 kind of taught me that much. Think about it for a moment. Without changing their bodies and w with weapons and armor, humans would be very weak creatures indeed. I believe that evolving into werewolves is just one way for humanity to survive. But that's... Of course, there's no way I can prove this theory. But I felt that our ability to use whirlwind was evident of this. Whirlwind? Why? I heard that only the people of Gorok could use whirlwind. It was a gift known only to werewolves, to Goros pack. And that only the chosen few could use Reveal. But now I find that you too can use these. What does this all mean? Why are you able to use Whirlwind and what is an adept? Master Maha, do you know of a continent called Agoria? It lies far north of the Eastern Sea. Agoria? Yeah, that's where we're from. In the middle of Agoria, there is a peak called Mount Aleph. Mount Ayla? Then it's true! Our legends say this peak has stood since the world began. Damn, it's been there that long? God damn! If Mount Ayla does exist, then perhaps our legends are true. It does exist. These two hail from the village at the base of Mount Ayla, a village called Vale. Hmm. They came from Mount Ayla? Incredible! It's true! They're both adepts, and while their powers may vary, Everyone from Vale is an adept to a certain degree. Then, does that not make them like us in Gora? In Vale, the myths say that Mount Ayla gave itself birth to the adepts. This is not what the legends of Gora tell us. As a people, they are quite gifted, but it, but it goes far beyond that. Uh-oh, I hear a lecture coming on. The mystical stones of Mount Ayla, the Synergy Stones, they are closely linked to the powers of the townsfolk. Synergy Stones, you say? Yeah, they caused us a lot of trouble in the first game, but also a help in the first game. Like, you know, Trent and everything, you know, back in Kalamia? Yeah, that shit. They were... If there were similar stones in Gora, it might explain your powers as well. And what manner of stones are these Synergy Stones? You, you've seen them... Maha, the shiny stone at the heart of Air's Rock. I know the stone you speak of, but Air's Rock is quite far from Gora. I don't see how it could affect the people here. I wonder, could it be the wind? Yeah, it must be. You probably figured it out already yourself, Felix. There were strong winds blowing within Air's Rock. Those winds would carry far. Carry? Carry what? The Synergy Stones! Ugh, you're so dense. <laughs> How is this possible? How could the stone's power be carried on the wind? Do not belittle the power of the wind! Damn, Shiva, calm down, girl. Calm down. Given time, the wind can grind great mountains down to the sand. Uh, okay. I mean, the wind that airs rock was strong enough to blow us off the ground. And why couldn't the wind carry particles of the stone all the way to Gora? Uh... By God, she's right! Heh! <laughs> Those particles from the Synergy Stone must be charged with its power. This explains why your Synergy is weaker than that of Vale's people. You've been exposed to smaller particles. The wind patterns might also affect us up among Gora who can use Whirlwind. 
Of course, it's all mere conjecture, but it does offer us some clues. Thank you. Um, I'm Sheba. I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, we haven't given you our names yet. <laughs> I'm Creighton. This here is Jenna. And Felix. How's it going? Nice to meet you. You must permit me to thank you all for all you've done. We, we didn't really do anything. We don't need your thanks, but I thank you nonetheless. Hmm. Old man? Hmm. Need some dog food? No, no, no. That's too bad. I was going to give you this. Huh? Hey, a Jupiter Degen! Ha! Ah, so yeah, viewers, you thought sitting here listening to all this plot dump and stuff and explanations was just for nothing? No, no. Well, the plot was useful, but we also get a Degen out of the mix, and if you're planning to do the Super Dungeon later, you need it. So, yeah, prepare yourself for the lecture. A Degen? Is that what you call them? When, it, when he is with you, he adds to your power. He is very helpful. I suppose you'll be continuing your journey now. Yes, I will. Or yes, we will. So you intend to travel by sea? That is a long journey. Kind of need a boat for that first. In that case, I think you'll get more out of this use of this Dijon than I will. Oh, you bet I will, trust me. You bet I will. Hey guys, what jump of the Dijon we get today? Let's find out. We get Ether! Nice. Cool. Another Dijon! Talk about Lucky. Right? This is, this is a great gift. We're quite thankful. You don't need to thank me. Just take care on your travels. I'll do that. Good luck with the werewolf thing, Maha. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Well, Mike, we should be going now. Right, right, let's get out of here. Take care in your travels, Felix. Uh, thanks, I will. Let's, let's mind read them before we go. I wish that I were free to travel the world like Felix and his friends. Don't worry, Maha. Someday you might be able to. Maybe. <laughs> but in any case, all right, we got Ether. Nice. Ether can restore um, the user's PP. So there you go. Very, very useful little guy. All right, now there is the matter of that treasure chest that we need to collect. And the only way to get to that treasure chest is, I think it's another, um, let's see, if memory serves, I don't think it's this way. Nah, nah, I figured as much. Yeah, there is a path um, from one of the houses that leads up to the um, that place. You guys remember those those stones, right? Um, the stones that were in the bottom section. Well, if you don't if you don't remember, I'll show you what they look like. Yeah, these. Remember this? Yeah, we couldn't do anything about this earlier, but now with the power of reveal, we can now reveal a hidden stump. Uh, <laughs> stump fail um hit um pillar i think stepping stone whatever the fuck you want to call it viewers damn but in any case come over here you can get the hypno sword nice hypno no 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 hypno in this game just the sword in any case it's slightly stronger for jenna so i'm going to give that to her oh can i pass down this um ancient art yes i can i'm going to give that to shiba the blow mace served its purpose as a sexual innuendo, but, you know, it's kind of outlived its usefulness. Goodbye! Alright, we got that. We can get out of here now. Actually, let's, let's head on back to Mandra now. Be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. We are back outside of Mandra. Now, if you're wondering how to get back to Mandra, basically, um, here's how I did it. South from Gora, go all the way back to Makasalia, right? Now, from Makasalia, make your way to the west. And then once you find a path up north, go to the north. Keep going north, go around anything, but you need to go north and try and go a little bit east. That should take you to the entrance of the Yepai Desert. From there, go all the way up to the Osanya Cliffs, and you'll get back here to Mandra. So yeah, that's the simplest method. So, in any case... Hey, you lie, hold it right there! Oh, come on, dudes. We've been through this already, haven't we? Hang on, there's no need to stop them. They couldn't be involved in this mess. You don't remember us? If you're talking about the pirate incident, I believe we saw that to everyone's satisfaction. This has nothing to do with the champion this time, old man. This time the Kobombo attacked us. Who the fuck are you calling an old man? Huh. Creighton, calm down, dude. 
Wait, did you say you were attacked again by the Kobambo? What the fuck is a Kobambo? No, I don't know them. Not many people do. They're a barbaric tribe from Central Gadawan. Watch out for them. Bamba! No. <laughs> when did this all happen? Not too long ago. Right after the mayor left, actually. Wow, convenient. Was anything stolen? Hmm. Only a single black orb. Everything else was untouched. Oh, right! That black orb that was in the mayor's house that she wouldn't let us take. Yeah, that looked like the black crystal that Iodin gave Isaac's party at the end of the last game. Wonder what it's for? A black orb. I wonder, could it be used with that ship that we saw in the east entrance shore? Hmm, interesting. I'm afraid we don't have much more info than that. You helped us with the champa, so I'll tell you what. Maybe you could look around the mayor's house. It's the only one that was robbed. So, they came here only just to take that black pearl? That's it? Wow. Oh yeah, what about Piers? Let's go check and see if he's here. Huh? Piers is gone! Huh. Well, yeah, they did. I guess they would release him. He's not a suspect anymore. Piers wasn't one of the champa. That's why they let him go. You shouldn't keep an innocent man in prison for no reason. Yeah, that's true! So then why the fuck were you harassing him when he was in jail, you fucking asshole? Wow. If I recall, he used frost on your ass and you, fall on, and you fell on your face. That was hilarious. So that Pierce guy wasn't a pirate after all, huh? That still doesn't answer to where all that ice came from. That freaked me out. <laughs> yeah, keep wondering about that, because I'm not going to tell you why. You have to figure it out for yourself, but then again, I doubt you figure it out. We think the Kabombo came, came into Endra across the new land bridge, but just because they could attack Manta doesn't mean they had to. Well, they did it anyway, and with purpose, it seems. Hey, Mayor, how's it going? My father was holding onto that orb for Piers, and the Kobombo stole it. Oh, so that was Piers' black orb. No matter how much he apologizes for losing it, it won't make things right. Hmm. All the Kobombo wanted when they attacked us was the black orb that sat above the fireplace. We're just lucky no one was hurt. Wow. So the only thing they took here was this black orb. Good to know. They don't sell anything new here at the shops, by the way. And until we have the frost energy, we can't we still can't do shit in the in the um Mandra catacombs. So oh well, that sucks. In any case, um in order to get to where Kabombo is, we have to head to the west of Mandra. Yeah, I know. I know. More traveling. Yay! What do you mean you're not excited? This is the best part of the game. Traveling. On foot! No. Well, yeah, basically. Get out of my way, bitch! Stupid ass trash. Like, seriously, you know you can't beat me anyway, and yet you still continue to try. How pathetic. How shallow and pedantic. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> In any case, we're right here at the Gadawan Cliffs. Hey, doggy. <laughs> what are you looking at over here? Hmm. Is something buried underground, boy? It's under the ground! It's under the ground! It's under the ground! No. Just scoop it up. Yoink! Oh! Ha ha! A water spout! Well, viewers, it looks like we have to head through the God of Wan Cliffs in order to get to Kabombo. Can we get through here in one piece? Find out next time. You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos for me. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, do this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smile you later.